Viewers, welcome to the full review of the Ceremonic UW Mic 9S wireless transmitter receiver microphone. And this is not a paid review, so you can watch with confidence. Oh viewers, before we start, I'd like you to watch this ad where the audio was completely recorded with the Ceremonic UW Mic 9S. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. Now, back to the review. Good point number one, solidly well built. This baby is really encased in a very solid metal body. Not like those really small mites that if you swallow it, the doctor will probably say that it's okay. You're gonna do fine. This is professional grade, well built. You see, when you have a wireless receiver, transmitter, microphone system like this, one of the biggest problem is that your actors and actresses need to go to the toilet. And when they do, and you forget to turn on the mute, or they forget, you know, traditionally, the only one way to mute is to either go to the talent and turn on the mute, and if they forget to mute, then you hear the whole adventure of them in the toilet. We do not want to hear that as the sound guy. So here's the good part. Good point number two, the actors can mute from their transmitter unit, and the sound guy can mute them individually. So each of these units have their own mute system. It's also about during filming, you do not want the other actor's microphone to leak into the scene or the shot so you can actually turn them off. Now the Ceremonic UW Mic 9S has a receiver unit, which is then paired to two transmitter units. So this is good, which means that you can connect this to two different actors. So the best way to do is to separate out the track, you can edit them individually and you won't have overlapping of their audio tracks. So here's good point number three, dual track mono or combine into a stereo. Because sometimes we're so confident with our setting, we do not want to mess with the track individually. I find these two ports here, the jack here, good points. One can go to your microphone, which means that despite having two transmitters, you can still stick a microphone to this. Another one is you can stick a headphone to this and monitor from the receiver unit. So these two jacks here, other good points. So here's an interesting thing. We are launching a new e-learning series now in our e-learning website called the e-learning of videography. Now this e-learning is part of the whole bigger video online ProSert program because it will eventually be made up of e-learning videography, e-learning productions, and e-learning video editing. So here's the thing. One of these would cover this topic about how you can capture ambient sound and use it as a bass track so that you can do dubbing effectively and realistically in the studio. So head on to our website now and look at the price of this e-learning. This whole course has been partially, the biggest part of it has been sponsored by Holy Land, which means that the production cost has been absorbed so you can actually sign up for this course at an unbelievable price. You see, the internet, has never seen such a low priced but high quality e-learning product. So head on there and grab this course now because we are launching soon and you do not want to miss this. I'm moving on to the transmitter unit, which is the body pack. And here's the good point about it. It's robustly built, just like the receiver, hole and cased metal unit, and it's still light. But at this point, you're probably thinking that the market has all these very small receivers and transmitter units compared to something that big. What's the difference? The difference is that when you're really shooting commercially, real production, you do not want to have something that small, that light, and crack and break easily. In fact, we broke one of our transmitter unit, the clip, isn't it? That, that's not fun. You know, this is like consumer products, if you ask me. This is professional grade. This is like serious stuff. Line in and microphone in. 
For the love of God, a lot of people get confused with this. Here's the basic. Line means it's amplified. Whatever that you want to put into this board needs to be amplified. And then mic means you put in something that is not amplified. An audio source that goes into your computer, not amplified. So if you look at a microphone, it doesn't need to have a battery. It's not amplified. So the signal and the voltage that's going into this port here, the mic in port is very weak. Whereas this one, you can actually stick in an MP3 player, which is amplified, and then you can start doing recording. And why am I telling you this? to have the receiver unit having two ports on the UW9 on the UW <laughs> bad point number one why can't the name be simpler? why, why are they called cryptically UW9 my, UW my 9S? why can't it be called Krypton? why, why, why can't it be called Salamander? Give me a name, throw me a name. Any name is like U better than UW9 my S. Oh my God, if, you, if you're a reviewer, my bad point number one. So coming back to your receiver unit, if you look at it, it has this ability to accept line in and also microphone in, which means that you have two options. You can stick in an MP3 player to this, which is amplified, or you can stick in a microphone. Is it a big deal? Yes, it is, if you're a professional sound guy. Anything that comes with built-in battery is a good thing, but also a bad thing in the sense is that if you run out of battery, you just need to wait for it to charge. But the good point is that if you flip it over, you're going to see a USB port that you can power it with a power bank. So, which is cool. Then you're going to have the ability to show me a power bank, which is not cool. If your power bank is like Director Yi Chong's power bank. <laughs> oh. Good point, the range. No, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not going down there, set the dog running, run 100 meters because we know that it works, which means that I'm going to walk away now, make two turns, going into the guest lounge. If you can hear me, that's good enough. You can hear me, so that's good enough. There's no line of sight. I mean, who the hell, which director you know, flims with no line of sight. Good point number nine. Look at the price, 299 and look at the equivalent of this brand, 599. It even comes with this professional case like this. I find this a bad point in a way because we are careful people and we do not film every day, I'll be honest with you. We are not a professional Hollywood sound guy before COVID-19, where you film every day from one production set to another production set, which really requires you to have a hefty, well-built unit. But I still find that it's big compared to all these small little darlings like this nowadays. But I can tell you this much, the strength and durability of this kind of consumer units, does not, it doesn't even stack up. You cannot even compare with this. But that's it. We are spoiled audio people. Small is good. And the best part is this, the antenna can actually flip, all right? Look at that. So it can actually go so many ways. It's like, wow, look at that. Yeah? And because it is a low frequency transmitter receiver in its an antenna. Whenever you watch my review, you probably think like I'm saving the grace of the brands by not going enough bad point. Far from the truth, it's not. Because when a product doesn't have a bad point, I can't go around saying it's bad point. I've already said that the name sucks. I mean, look at them. So that's all the bad point that I have. Let's run through this. These are the good points. These are the bad points. So if you ask me for a conclusion, what I think, this is how many stars I would give it. So if you are graduating to become a professional sound guy and you want to impress the production team, and you want to use your service and going from set to set, this is something that you need. Because I can tell you this much, when we use the smaller units like the Road Go and, and the Luck, sometimes we even forget to take the microphone back from the actresses. They are down in the parking and we can hear them, hey, they're going back with our transmitter units. So this message here is targeted to brands. If you have products that you want to be reviewed fairly, and then tell viewers what it's good about it, what's bad about it, and no time wasted, this is the best place to send your product to. This is our email. If you like our format of review, send us the product, 
we'll do a fair review. I look forward to work with your friends. You know what? Call it Daddy Long Legs. Still better than you, W9. Okay, I'm nitpicking. Hey, I just found out there is no smaller power bank in the market. There's none. There was a time that you can actually go online to online store and buy disposable power banks like this. But look at the price. For the love of God, the disposable power bank is more expensive than the power bank. But then a power bank this big is just not fun. This shit here can actually start a car engine.